Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, or whatever your time might be. Welcome back to Slivers FX channel with me, Mike. Uh, this is Gothic 2, the returning mod playthrough, and we are here on the quest to rob Corinus of his precious resources, gold and everything in it. Being a mage has its privileges, right? In the base game, nobody would care where you would walk, what you would take, or anything like that. Here, you have to be a little more careful. Certain uh, people just tend to see things and they attack you right away. I don't know how it works. But um, I'm going to put the timestamps down below so you guys can skip ahead to see where the blood chalices actually lie. If you have any problems with taking them, of course. But without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Alright, now you've noticed that I have a new camera. Well, old camera. I normally record with my phone. But this time I said I'm going to try my old camera. Because I'm getting a new webcam this week. Maybe next week with a stream light as well. For my Twitch channel. Now we're going to go with this uh, first little house over here where Valerian lives with uh, Fernando. We're gonna rob him since he's already here. We're gonna take this large chest, he doesn't mind, apparently. Take everything from the chest, there's even the rhetoric book that we got for Fernando in here, in case you want to sell it back to, what's his name, uh, Galahan. Now, normally you would take everything with your V button, in the previous versions here if a person is nearby you you just can't do that you have to take it by hand so let's take all of these silver chalices there's a gold candlestick here vine golden coins now Fernando's not gonna wake up unless you wake him up and the exquisite chest is right here with the little gold coins inside cool and even an arcane golem so that's a good book to have for uh, raising up your intelligence and rhetoric, I believe. Not both. Let's take the silver chalice, the golden coins, let's read the book. There's nothing interesting here. Let's continue to our next stop, which is Lutero's house around the corner. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. And uh, Lutero's house normally contains of two guards of which you would have to take on wambo and given 250 gold coins to just go away for the night right we don't have to do it we can just walk right in since there's nobody here i can take everything with the v button in this area let's even take the brooms check the book interesting. nothing interesting on the book all right we're gonna go upstairs and Lutero is gonna have a quest for me so we're gonna have to wait before we take anything he just automatically automatically wakes up i'm gonna skip ahead it's basically a quest for gorax uh in the monastery to get some wine for 500 gold or whatever you negotiate the price to so as low as 50 gold and the rest you basically can keep let's check the book hmm one rhetoric and one intelligence always good to have when you are a mage of course all right let's open up this lovely little chest ding 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 oh wow all right we got it i wish we had a uh, magic hacking which is a rune that comes in handy later on but it takes 75 mana each time you use it so <laughs> very very mana consuming the first blood chalice is actually here on the left and the second one is right next to it so the first one is in that chest over there we take the key that's from here you normally would have to crouch in here to get these things but i don't have to since i'm a mage and the guards just don't care Neither do the citizens unless they wake up. And the first blood chalice should be in here, which it is. It says blood bowl for some damn reason. But I guess it's just in translation in the from the Russian or from Russian to English and then back or something. I don't know how it works properly, but that's the first blood chalice in the house between Lutero and uh, what's his name again? Uh, Salandrel. 
and Salandril actually has the second one. I already robbed him. You actually have to talk to him, get his key. You need 50 dexterity to get his key. It's not too bad. I already have over 100. Let's take all of these since we're already here. Ding, 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 ding. Read the book. Nothing interesting. All right. And then the blood chalice. You activate it with that little button down there. You have to just be next to it and press it. And this wall just comes down, crashing into nothingness, basically. All right. And the exquisite chest contains the second blood ball. I'm going to take everything, of course. Even some ingredients that I'll probably never use. Nice, let's go. That's the second blood chalice. Let's go to the mayor's house. Not the mayor's house. Actually, I'm just gonna go directly to Lord Hagen's and... Um, yeah, mayor's house. I think it's a mayor. Yeah, mayor. I keep confusing mayor and judge. Judge is like straight ahead from here. Now, I haven't had, I haven't been here yet, but he's gonna ask me to enter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am... A fire mage, you can let I me am through. A fire magician. Yes, of course. Forgive me, chosen one, but I'm only doing my duty. Of course, you're doing only your duty. It doesn't matter. We're gonna go upstairs, see what they have. Da -da -dum. Let's go up to this chair. Nothing here. Oh, uh -huh. there's a purse up there. Let's just take it. I hope the mayor is sleeping. Another golden vase. Nothing here. Okay, he's sleeping. Let's take that. Okay. And what's his name? Cornelius is here. I'm gonna save just in case. I don't know how he's gonna react if I take that blood thingy. Uh, not blood, but gold vase. He doesn't care. Okay, cool. Uh huh. Cool, nice. All right. So we have Galahad in here. We're gonna take check the book dressers again. I think only the second one will actually affect us, though. Hmm. Gracias. Okay. And let's continue. I don't think Galahad really cares if we take anything. Where'd he go anyway? I think he just disappeared. Never mind. He's at the door for some damn reason. And this is the most um, awkward chest in the game. Not in the game. In town. In town, let me correct myself. So, I don't know how much dexterity you need to actually open it. Uh, I think it's a hundred. I could be mistaken. Otherwise, it just insta kills you. I'm gonna try it anyway. Hopefully, it doesn't kill me. Uh, we'll see, right? This might take a while. 346 minutes later. And once you actually open it, you get a ruby, a giant fucking ruby. That's also part of the Thieves of Guild, Thieves Guild quest. So I'm just gonna take it and a Sir Sir Sapphire and a golden ring. I think there used to be a thousand gold in here. I guess they removed it, but doesn't matter. Uh, let's go by Galahad, by Geralt, by everybody. Um, I don't know if I just go directly there to Lord Hagen. Is he going to autom automatically talk to me? But I believe there's also a chest here that I can just open up without any problem. Let's see. I'm going to um, gonna save just in case. Come on. All right. Three days later. Okay. So the thousand gold is in here. It's not upstairs, it's actually here. And I believe that if I would just start taking stuff from here, this guy here, nobody else, not the paladins, this guy would start attacking me. Okay, 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 not now, thank you. Uh, yeah, let's just leave. Since we got all the stuff we wanted. Let's see if we can read this book right here. Okay, we should we already know that. Uh can we take everything anything from the from this little library thingy? From the bookshelf. Ah, oh, we have two healing touches for free. We can take the coins. 
apparently. Uh huh. And that too. Nice. Let's get out of here. And we're gonna go off to the uh, judge's house. Now, the mayor house has two of the hardest chests in town, and the rest shouldn't be all that hard. Okay, let's see now. Gonna take this. Doesn't have anything else up here. This is the third blood chalice location, by the way. Boom. Take that. Golden box. Uh, I'm gonna turn this shield over here to actually open a uh, open the chest downstairs that has it. A few golden coins here. Let's get this chest first. One eternity later. What is with these chests? In this area, what the hell with all this combination locks? Okay, gold box, silver ring, silver plate, a lot of gold, and a purse as well. Why not? <laughs> Very large key combinations. All right. Nothing on the book. We're gonna have to wake up the uh, the judge. It says Reister. Don't know why it says Reister. And gonna steal his key. Bye. You can go back to sleep, good Reister boy. Think he just does after you leave? Yeah, he does. Cool, nice. And the chest should be right here. We can just open it with the key we just received. And there's the blood chalice. Boom. Alrighty then. Free down, free to go. I wonder if there's anything up here. I remember that the uh, the gardener gave us a key to rob the paladin's house. I'm gonna save here one more time. I take this little figure in of innocent, in us, not innocent. My bad. And the chat, the key that the gardener gave us for his little quest is right here. We should be able to open it. Has a golden ring, few golden coins. And a few healing potions, which is great. Anything else here worth taking? No. What about Ingmar? Does he care that we're around? I do not think so. We're gonna save one more time, just in case. We never know. Golden coins. Alright. There's nothing on the table, but there's a little button right here. That opens this little thingy, and there's a purse right behind it. We're gonna get the book dresser. Nothing here. Wonder if we can uh, rob this chest. Probably we can. Yes, we can. A gold plate, a few coins again, and some schnapps, apparently. Uh, Ingmar. Yeah. According to the report, make sure. Okay, so. I don't have enough dexterity yet, but this scroll is actually needed for one of the um, one of the quests. That it's not necessarily correlated to the fire magicians, but you can still do it nonetheless. All right, there's a bit of food in here, so I'm gonna save this anyway. There's not a blood chalice in here, but whatever, right? Uh huh. Okay, I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't take anything from that side because there's a guard right outside. I guess. Let's see. What about this place? There's nobody even here. Check the book. Hmm. Ah, there you go. Another rhetoric and intelligence. Well, that one wasn't that difficult, but it does have a topaz inside, which is quite valuable. Make sure to save all of your uh, jewels. Do not sell them to Hannah. 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 I don't know how you pronounce her name right. The girl that works in the hotel of the city. Do not sell them to her because they are way more worth if you just save them. Alright. The fourth is in this place. And this is Valentino's house, right? 
it's normally behind this wall but you have to go upstairs and actually um get the lamp and open it let's see now valentino is still sleeping that's fine we're gonna save the the game one more time the lamp is right here as it's been always in the base game boom 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 let's take that i already robbed valentino it's fine and let's get this a little small chest even though there's not much inside it's only 100 gold boom oh shit my bad <laughs> Let's go downstairs and the big chest should actually be here well it's not that big but nonetheless and this is your blood bowl number four the fifth one should be right next door in Gebrand's house I believe if I still have my memory let's get all the food as well why not pan uh ham pan and ham apple beer and fish soup let's go upstairs he should still be sleeping because he's a lazy ass motherfucker gold chalice gold chalice purse and the chest should be right here let's save one more time Boom. There you go. Another blood bowl. Check the book. That's our number five. And that's it for the upper quarter. And now not to waste your time, guys. I'm going to go directly to the blood chalice number six, which is in Lamar's house. All right, Lema's house is right here. I do not know if these people are going to be affected by it. If you go upstairs, I already had to rob partially him. He's still sleeping. There is a little button right here between the fireplace and the wall. You have to go right here and press it. I already did press it, so the door is basically open. Uh, let's see if there's anything in here. All right, the blood bowl is upstairs it's not downstairs it used to be downstairs now it's upstairs so just take it from here i already unlocked it beforehand so i didn't have to do it now and that's it that's your six blood chalices quest complete all right and let's check downstairs. I think I already checked this chest. Yeah, there's nothing in it. Nice. And while I complete the rest of the town and empty its belongings, which sounds very weird, I know. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for being here, for your support. Please do click the subscribe button down below if you have not done yet. Um, and check out my Twitch channel. I do play League of Legends, Guild Wars, and Dead by Daylight on Twitch. And uh, there is going to be a giveaway soon of 2 times 20 euros on gift cards in Riot Games and Blizzard Entertainment. Once I reach 100 followers, I think I'm already at 98. Nice. Anyway, guys, see you. And, uh, well, off to the next episode.